Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is on this look and it is um, inspired by a new purchase that I recently made and it was the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Telepathy and this is part of the um, Kathleen Lights Where the Night Is collection and this color is absolutely gorgeous. I have never seen anything like it. I don't own anything like it and I really am all about incorporating, you know, kind of fun pops of color into everyday makeup looks. So this is what I came up with. If you're interested and want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. So I'm going to start with complexion and I'm going to be priming my face using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is their smoothing primer. And I'm just using clean fingers to blend that into my skin. Then next I'm going to apply some NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Alaska um, to the drier areas of my skin using a Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. Then for foundation I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 105 and I'm just applying that to my T-zone and in areas that I need a little bit more coverage. And I'm using that same Sigma F80 to apply it as well. Then moving on to eyebrows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Ebony to fill my brows in. And I'm just doing kind of really light feathering motions along the bottom of my eyebrows and then along the top as well and then just filling everything in in between. Once I make my way to the front of my brows, I'm just going to take the tip of that pencil and flick it upwards in the direction that my eyebrows grow in the front. And then I'm just going to flip the pencil around and then use a spoolie to blend everything out. Then to clean up the edges of my brows, I'm using a Sigma F70 concealer brush and the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC30. And you can use any concealer of your choice as long as it doesn't have a dewy finish because you want this to stay in place and not move around. Then I'm going to set my brow hairs in place using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Brunette. And to prime my lids, I'm using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just going to buff that all over my lid using a Sigma P80 Precision Flat Top Brush. To set my eyeshadow base, I'm picking up the shade Divinity from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and I'm applying that all over my lids using a Sigma E40 Blending Brush. Next, taking a Sigma E25 blending brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Almond Truffle from that same palette. I'm just going to apply that to my crease using windshield wiper motions, and this is going to be my transition shade. Then next, taking a Sigma E38 diffused crease brush, I'm going to apply the shade Bordeaux, and this is a beautiful deep maroon color, and I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye and then blend that inwards. And I'm going to really deepen up the outer corner of my eye using that shade um, because I want it to be nice and saturated, and then I'm blending it in as well to make sure that it looks nice and gradient and so there aren't any harsh lines. picking up the shade Dark Truffle from the same palette and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye for more definition using a Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm applying that in a V shape um, and really concentrating the color there as well. Then going back in with my Sigma E38 brush and a little bit more of Bordeaux, I'm just blending everything in. I'm going to spray a little Fix Plus on my Sigma E55 shader brush and I'm picking up the shade Molasses Chip which is a beautiful bronzy color and I'm just going to pack that onto my lid not taking it up too high and also avoiding the inner corner of my eye. And the Fix Plus really helps to intensify shimmery shades like this one. 
And for the star of the show, I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Telepathy and I'm applying that to the inner corner of my eyes using a Sigma E21 smudge brush and I'm making sure to blend that outward with the bronzy shade to make it a nice a gradient effect. Moving on to finish up the rest of my complexion, I'm doing some color correcting and I'm applying the NYX Dark Circle Concealer in the shade Medium to my under eye area using a Sigma F64 Soft Blend Concealer Brush. Then to do some highlighting and concealing, I'm applying the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand to my under eyes and other areas where light would naturally hit my face. Then I'm going to blend all of that in using a dampened beauty blender. And I've been loving color correcting before applying my concealer because it really does help cancel out the bluish tone that my under eyes tend to have. So if you're somebody that has dark circles, I definitely recommend um, a orange or a salmon colored color corrector to help cancel that darkness out. It really does work. I'm going to quickly set the areas where I've applied concealer using the Clinique Stay Matte Sheer Pressed Powder in the shade 101 Invisible Matte and I'm applying that using a Sigma E48 brush. Then I'm going to set the rest of my face using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium Plus and a Real Techniques Dual Fiber Face Brush. To warm up my skin and do a little contouring, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and a Tarte Contour Brush and I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, my temples, and the very top of my forehead. Then to clean up the contour a bit, I'm going to go back in with that Morphe E48 brush and a little bit more of the Clinique Pressed Powder. Then for blush, I'm using Mocha by MAC and applying that to the apples of my cheeks using an IT Flawless Blush Brush. And to finish off my eyes, I'm going to go back in with that Sigma E30 Pencil Brush and the shade Bordeaux and apply it to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go back in with Dark Truffle and apply that focusing on the outer third of my lower lash line. Then I'm going to blend that out using my Sigma E25 Blending Brush and a little bit more of Almond Truffle. Then I'm going to go back in with Telepathy and my Sigma E21 smudge brush and I'm going to intensify the color there on the inner corner of my eyes. I'm going to line my waterline using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion. And then I'm going to curl my lashes using my favorite eyelash curler and it is by Tarte. And then I'm going to apply some mascara and I decided to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Then moving on to the lips, I'm going to be lining them using my MAC Lip Pencil in the shade Whirl. And for lipstick, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beeper. And this is such a pretty um, mid-tone kind of mauve taupe color. I love it. Then for that glow, I'm using the Champagne Pop Highlighter by Becca and I'm applying that to the high points of my cheeks, then down the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose and my Cupid's bow using my Real Techniques setting brush. And I wanted to contour my nose so I'm using my Hoola Bronzer and a Real Techniques dual fiber eye brush. Then I'm going to set everything using some MAC Fix Plus and we're done. So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then please give this video a thumbs up. If you get a chance check out some of the other videos on my channel and if you like what you see please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.